Hello everyone! Here's another video tutorial that we may use in studying our lesson in pre-calculus. In today's video, we're going to discuss Identifying the conic section by inspection Important characteristics of the different types of conic sections Let's start! The equation of a circle may be written in this form ax squared plus ay squared plus cx plus dy plus e is equal to 0. That is, the coefficients of x squared and y squared are the same. However, it does not follow that if the coefficients of x squared and y squared are the same, the graph is a circle. So, tina natin to mga example natin. So, let's have the first one. So, letter A, we have 2x squared plus 2y squared minus 2x plus 6y plus 5 is equal to 0. So, kung titignan natin, class, pareho ng pattern. So, pareho ng numerical coefficient yung terms na merong x squared at y squared. So, in this case, parehong 2. Ano? And, pareho ito, okay, ng a form. Ngayon, kapag transform natin itong ating general equation into its standard equation, ito yung kalalabasan. So, we have the quantity of x minus 1 half squared plus the quantity of y plus 3 halves squared is equal to 0. Na ang sketch ng graph ay isang point. So, mamaya mas i-discuss natin ito. Uh, doon naman tayo sa second example. So, we have x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 8y plus 50 is equal to 0. So, pareho din ng uh, form kagaya nito. Ano, so, pareho ng numerical coefficient yung term na merong x squared at y squared. So, in this case, parehong 1. Ano? Ngayon, kapag kinuha natin yung standard equation nito, it will give us the quantity of x minus 3 squared plus the quantity of y minus 4 squared is equal to negative 25. Na magbibigay sa atin ng isang empty set. Okay, so mamaya didiscuss natin bakit. Bakit empty set? Okay, so ibig sabihin class, although nagpa-follow ng ganitong form yung ating general equation, it doesn't necessarily mean na yung magiging sketch ng graph niya is a circle. So we have to verify, we have to check. So it check natin dun sa ating standard equation. Okay, ah, sige. so let's proceed to the next slide. So for a circle with equation, the quantity of x minus h squared, plus the quantity of y minus k squared equals r squared, we have r squared greater than 0. That is not the case for the standard equations of a and b. Okay? So, di ba, a condition natin before na dapat yung r squared natin should be greater than 0. Okay? Ngayon, hindi ganun yung case dun sa dalawang examples natin on the previous slide. So, tina natin. So, in letter A, the quantity of x minus 1 half squared plus the quantity of y plus 3 halves squared equals 0 because the sum of two squares can only be 0 if and only if each square is 0. It follows that x minus 1 half equals 0 and y plus 3 halves equals 0. Thus, the graph is a single point. 1 half negative 3 halves. So, mapansin natin class, dito sa ating uh, standard equation, Para mag-equal sa 0, okay, ito, kailangan maging 0 ito, tsaka maging 0 din to. Okay? So, that will give us x minus 1 half equals 0. So, ang x natin is equal to 1 half. Dito naman, uh, that will give us a y plus 3 halves equals 0. So, we have y is equal to negative 3 halves. Kaya yung sketch ng graph natin ay single point with coordinates 1 half, negative 3 halves. So, kung titingnan natin, ayan, nandito yun. Okay, ito yung ating sketch ng graph. So, 1 half, and then, uh, negative 3 halves, or negative 1.5. So, ayan. So, it's a single point. Okay? Next, in letter B, we have the quantity of x minus 3 squared plus the quantity of y minus 4 squared equals negative 25. So, no real values of x and y can make the non-negative left side equal to the negative right side. The graph is then the empty set. Kasi kung i-examine natin class in standard equation, kita natin na sa right hand side we have negative 25. However class, uh, walang real values ang x and y na mag-cause para magkaroon tayo ng negative na right hand side. 
Kasi kung mapapansin nyo, to, kahit anong value ng x na nilagay natin dyan, and then we get its square, laging positive yung magiging outcome. Ganon din dito. Kahit anong uh, value ng y, ang isubstitute natin dito, since kukunin naman natin yung square or imumultiply natin siya sa sarili niya, laging positive yung magiging result. So, ibig sabihin, hindi mangyayari na magiging negative 25 yung right-hand side. And class, kung mapapansin natin, addition yung ating operation. Okay? So, kung mag-a-add tayo ng dalawang positive values, so, ang magiging sum natin is positive. Ano, there's no way na magiging negative yung right-hand side. Again, no real values of x and y can make the non-negative left side equal to the negative right side. Hence, yung graph natin is an empty set. Okay? And so, let's proceed. Yeah. So, let us recall the general form of the equations of other conic sections. Uh, we may write the equations of conic sections we discussed in the general form. So, we have here ax squared plus by squared plus 6x plus dy plus e is equal to 0. Some terms may vanish depending on the kind of conic section. So, let's start with the first one. So, we have here the circle. So, circle, both x squared and y squared appear and their coefficients are the same. So, ito yung ating form kapag uh, meron tayong circle. So, we have ax squared plus ay squared plus 6x plus dy plus e is equal to 0. So, again, Parehong present yung ating x squared at y squared. And at the same time, yung coefficients ng term na may x squared and y squared ay pareho. Okay? So, let's have an example. So, we have here 18x squared plus 18y squared minus 24x plus 48y minus 5 is equal to 0. So, again, kailangan present yung term na merong x squared at y squared. And at the same time, pareho sila ng coefficient. Okay? Ngayon, kapag kinuha natin yung standard form na, we have the quantity of x minus 2 thirds squared plus the quantity of y plus 4 thirds squared is equal to 20 over 9. So, we have here a circle with the radius uh, 2 squared of 5 over 3 units. Ngayon, class, um, we have to verify pa rin. Ano? Kasi although ganito yung ating form, possible na makakuha tayo ng degenerate cases. So, possible na makakuha tayo ng point at saka ng empty set. So, we have to verify then using the standard equation. Okay? Ayan. So, again, kapag circle, kailangan present pareho yung term na merong x squared and y squared and at the same time, pareho sila ng numerical coefficient. So, yan yung makikita natin dapat dun sa general form. So, again, class, we have to verify pa rin using the standard equation kasi kagaya ng pinakita nating examples kanina, possible na makakuha tayo ng point or ng empty set. Ano? So, kailangan nating tingnan pa rin yung standard equation natin. So, let's proceed with the next one. So, we have here the parabola. So, dito naman, exactly one of x squared or y squared appears. So, kailangan meron tayong uh, isa lang, okay? Between x squared and y squared na present. So, kapag ang case natin ay ganito, we have ax squared plus cx plus dy plus e is equal to 0, where d is not equal to 0, it's either we have a parabola opening upward or downward. Ngayon, kapag ang case naman natin ay ganito, we have by squared plus cx plus dy plus e is equal to 0, where c is not equal to 0, uh, we have a parabola either opening to the right or to the left. Okay? So, dito sa unang condition, ang present dito ay yung term na merong x squared. Dito naman sa pangalawang condition, ang present naman natin ay yung term na merong y squared. Okay. So, let's have uh, some examples. So, una muna, we have 3x squared minus 12x plus 2y plus 26 is equal to 0. So, dito, apparent na agad class na ang present natin dito is yung term lang na merong x squared. So, we have a parabola either opening upward or downward. So, nagpo-fall yan dito sa unang condition natin. And at the same time, yung di natin, ba? Ang di natin dito is 2. So, it's not equal to 0. So, magpo-fall siya dito. Okay? 
So, para ma-identify natin, class, yung uh, opening niya, kung upward ba or downward, sige, kunin natin yung standard form. Ito yung review lang, na-discuss na natin to on our previous uh, video tutorial uh, dun sa parabola, but sige, review natin. So, we have 3x squared minus 12x is equal to negative 2y minus 26. So, nag-subtract tayo ng 2y, both sides, and nag-subtract din tayo ng 26, both sides. So, in-isolate natin, class, lahat ng terms na merong x variable sa left-hand side, and then yung merong y variable sa right-hand side, tsaka yung constant. Okay? Ngayon, class, ayan. So, if factor out yung 3 dito, sa 3x squared minus 12x, so we have 3x squared divided by 3, we have x squared, yung matitira sa loob ng parentheses. Negative 12x divided by 3, we have negative 4x. So, again, to check, kapag dinistribute natin yung 3 sa term sa loob ng parentheses, so we have 3 times x squared, we have 3x squared. 3 times negative 4x, we have negative 12x. So, pareho lang yung makukuha natin. Okay? Next, equals, kinopya lang to, negative 2y minus 26. Next step, um, gagamitin natin yung completing the square method dito. Okay? So, again, negative 4 divided by 2, we have negative 2. And the square of negative 2, so we have quantity of negative 2 squared. So, negative 2 times negative 2, we have positive 4. So, meron tayo ditong 3 times the quantity of x squared minus 4x plus 4. Kung ano yung inad sa isang side, yun yung i-add sa kabilang side. But remember na may naka-factor out na 3 dito. So, ang i-add natin sa kabila is 3 times... 4. Okay, so kinopya ito plus 3 times 4. Okay? Next, ito, we can write this na as a square of a binomial. Ano kasi perfect square trinomial na ito. So, pwede na natin itong isulat as 3 times the quantity of x minus 2 squared. Okay? So, again, kung ano lang yung result kapag dinivide natin yung numerical coefficient ng middle term by 2. So, negative 4 divided by 2, we have negative 2. Kopyahin lang natin yung variable natin dito. Na ginamit. So, we have x. So, we have the quantity of x minus 2 squared. Equal lang yan sa x squared minus 4x plus 4. Pwede nyo i-double check uh, by using the FOIL method. So, so i-multiply lang natin yung quantity of x minus 2 times the quantity of x minus 2. Ito lang din yung lalabas. x squared minus 4x plus 4. Okay, equals negative 2y, negative 26 plus 12, kasi 3 times 4 is 12. So, we have negative 14. Okay. Next natin ay, okay, so kinopya lang to, and then dito naman, finactor out natin yung uh, numerical coefficient ni negative 2y. So, finactor out natin si negative 2, okay? So, negative 2y divided by negative 2, ang matitira sa loob ng parentheses ay y, okay? Negative 14 divided by negative 2, we have positive 7, okay? So, finactor out lang natin yung negative 2 dito, okay? So, again, pag dinistribute mo yan... Pareho lang naman na ito yung lalabas. Next. Ayan. So, we will divide both sides by 3. Ayan. So, that quantity of x minus 2 squared na lang yung matira sa left-hand side. So, if you do that, we will have the quantity of x minus 2 squared equals negative 2 over 3 times the quantity of y plus 7. Okay? In class, Pwede na natin ma-assess ano, kung ano yung opening, kung upward ba or downward. So, una, alam natin, class, na kapag ang variable natin na x, yung merong square, it's either, uh, yung parabola natin is opening upward lang or downward. Ngayon, kung mapapansin natin, kung natatandaan natin, so, dito meron tayong negative 4p. Ano? Okay? Kasi negative ito. So, with that, alam natin na yung parabola natin will be opening downward. Okay? So, yung pattern natin na gagamitin dito is yung merong negative 4p. So, opening downward, yan. So, we have a parabola here which opens downward. And kapag kinuha natin yung sketch ng graph, so, ito yung itsura ng parabola. So, indeed, downward nga yung opening ng ating uh, resulting parabola. Okay? Next example, so, class, review lang natin ano kung paano kunin yung standard form na itong ating uh, equation ng parabola. So, next, we have negative 2y squared plus 3x plus 12y minus 15 is equal to 0. So, again, dito, um, pansin natin na ang present naman dito is yung term na merong y squared. Okay? So, 
dito siya magpo-fall sa second condition. And take note, kailangan yung C natin ay hindi equal sa 0. Ang C natin dito is 3, so pasok pa rin dito sa ating condition. So again, it will fall under the second condition. So we have a parabola opening either to the right or to the left. So pag kinuha natin yung standard form nito class, it will give us the quantity of y minus 3 squared is equal to 3 halves times the quantity of x plus 1. So again, kapag yung variable y naman natin, yung merong square, uh, kapag tiningnan natin yung standard form, it's either nag-open to the right or left yung ating parabola. Ngayon, since positive ito, itong 4p natin dito, kung susundan natin yung pattern, ito ay nag-open to the right. So, we have a parabola opening to the right. Kapag in-sketch natin yung graph, actually, ito yung itsura ng ating sketch ng graph. Okay? Ayan. So, sana clear tayo. So, again, kapag parabola, exactly 1 of x squared or y squared appears. So, isa lang. Ano? Isa lang. Isa lang dun sa term na merong x squared or y squared, yung present dun sa ating general form. Okay? Okay, class. Let's proceed to the next one. So, we have here the ellipse. So, in here, both x squared and y squared appear, and their coefficients a and b have the same sign and are unequal. So, example natin ay ito. We have 2x squared plus 5y squared plus 8x minus 10y minus 7 is equal to 0. So, una, kita natin na present yung term natin na merong x squared at y squared. Yung a and b natin, so ang a natin dito is 2 yung B natin ay 5. So, pareho sila ng sign, parehong positive dito, at sila ay unequal. ba? Kasi, ba ang 2 naman ay hindi equal sa 5. So, hence, nagpo-fall sila dito sa case na to. Okay? Ngayon, uh, to further verify, pwede natin kunin yung uh, standard form nito. So, ang standard form nito is quantity of x plus 2 squared over 10 plus the quantity of y minus 1 squared over 4 is equal to 1. Ngayon, class, ah, uh, Batay din doon sa diniscuss natin previously, doon sa mga nakaraan nating video tutorial, kapag mas malaki yung uh, value o yung denominator ng term na merong x variable, automatic ang orientation ng major axis natin is horizontal. So dito, meron tayong horizontal major axis. Again, kasi mas malaki yung value okay, ng denominator ng merong variable x. Kaya horizontal yung orientation ng major axis natin. Okay? Kapag in-sketch natin yung graph class, ganito yung magiging itsura. Okay? Ayan. So, next, we have uh, the second example. So, we have 4x squared plus y squared minus 16x minus 6y plus 21 is equal to 0. So, again, parehong present yung term na merong x squared at y squared. At ang coefficients a and b natin, so, ang a natin dito is 4 ang B natin ay 1. So, pareho sila ng sign. So, in this case, parehong positive. At yung dalawa ay unequal. Kasi nga, yung isa 4, yung isa 1. So, magpo-fall sila under this. Okay? Ngayon, further verify. So, ang standard form nan is quantity of x minus 2 squared over 1 plus the quantity of y minus 3 squared over 4 is equal to 1. Ngayon, ang denominator naman natin na mas malaki ay yung ito. Okay? Under na itong term na to na merong y variable. Hence, ang orientation ng major axis naman natin dito ay vertical. Okay? Kapag in-sketch natin yung graph, ganito yung itsura. Kung baga, matangkad. Ano? Yung ating ellipse. Ayan. Ngayon, uh, isa pang palatandaan, class, kapag tinignan natin yung general form, uh, kapag mas malaki yung b, okay, kesa sa a, horizontal yung major axis. Kapag mas malaki naman yung A kesa sa B, vertical yung ating major axis. Again, yung A dito is 2. Ang B dito ay 5. Okay? Ngayon, mas malaki yung B natin na 5 kesa sa 2. Automatic, horizontal yung ating major axis. Dito naman, mas malaki naman yung A natin kesa sa B. Automatic, we have a vertical major axis. Okay? But, again, take note, mahalaga na i-verify natin or i-check natin yung standard equation natin. Ayan. So, meron tayong ganitong kaso. If A is equal to B, we will classify the conic as a circle. 
okay instead of an ellipse just like what we have discussed previously uh, and we have uh, degenerate cases so possible na magkaroon tayo ng point tsaka ng empty set so kailangan nating tingnan pa rin yung standard form ng ating equation okay so i hope na clear tayo dito sa ellipse okay so with that let's proceed to the next one so we have here the hyperbola. Okay, so dito naman, both x squared and y squared appear and their coefficients a and b have different signs. Okay, so pareho nag appear pa rin yung terms na merong x squared and y squared and yung coefficients nila magkaiba naman yung sign. Okay, so tingnan natin. Una example, we have 5x squared minus 3y squared minus 20x minus 18y minus 22 is equal to 0. So, una, present pareho yung terms na merong x squared tsaka y squared. Pangalawa, yung sign nung coefficients nila, so, ang sign positive 5, so, positive, at ito naman, negative 3, yung coefficient nito, so, magkaiba sila ng sign, isang positive, isang negative. So, possible na mag-fall sila dito. Okay, under this. Ngayon, kapag kinuha natin yung standard form nito class, it will give us quantity of x minus 2 squared over 3 minus the quantity of y plus 3 squared over 5 is equal to 1. So, kagaya na diniscuss natin dun sa previous video tutorial natin, kapag positive yung sign nung merong variable x natin, automatic ang orientation natin dito ay horizontal. Okay? Para dun sa transverse axis. Okay? Tapos negative naman dun sa uh, term na merong y variable. Ayan. So, kapag in-sketch natin yung graph, so, ito yung itsura niya. Okay? So, yung branches ng hyperbola natin is opening to the left and to the right. Next. So, next example, we have here negative 4x squared plus y squared plus 24x plus 4y minus 36 is equal to 0. So, again, present pareho yung terms na merong x squared at y squared. So, check tayo dyan. Pangalawa, Yung coefficients nila, so ang a natin dito is negative 4, ang b natin dito ay 1. So, magkaiba ng sign. So, possible na magfold under this. Okay? Ngayon, i-verify uli natin. Let's find the standard form. So, we will have the quantity of y plus 2 squared over 4 minus the quantity of x minus 3 squared over 1 is equal to 1. So, dito naman sa case natin, ang positive naman ay yung term na merong y variable ang negative naman ay yung term na merong x variable. So, hence, ang orientation ng transverse axis natin dito ay vertical naman. So, we have here a vertical transverse axis. Kapag in-sketch natin yung graph, ganito yung itsura. So, yung branches ng hyperbola natin is opening uh, upward and downward. Okay? Ayan. So, again, class, uh, mahalaga rin na i-check natin yung standard form ng ating given equation. So, again, class, kapag hyperbola, present, pareho yung term na merong x squared and y squared, and at the same time, yung coefficients a and b dapat magkaiba ng signs. Okay? Kapag titingnan natin yung general form. Okay? So, let's continue. Ayan. So, we have here uh, the generate case. So, possible na kahit ganyan yung form, possible na makakuha tayo ng two intersecting lines, okay? So, it is a degenerate case. So, mahalaga, again, class, na i-double check natin yung standard form ng ating equation, okay? Kasi possible nga na mag-result din yan sa two intersecting lines, okay? Sige, magbigay tayo ng halimbawa. Ayan. So, the following examples will show the possible degenerate conic. So, possible na makakuha tayo ng point ng two intersecting lines or ng empty set as the graph of an equation following a similar pattern as the non-degenerate cases. So, mahalaga na um, i-identify din natin yung standard form para ma-double check. Ano? Kasi although pareho sila ng pattern, uh, possible na ito nga yung maging resulting graph natin. Okay? So, let's have the first example. So, we have 4x squared plus 9y squared minus 16x plus 18y plus 25 equals 0. Ngayon, mapapansin natin, present yung terms na merong x squared at y squared. At the same time, magkaiba sila ng value at 
parehong positive. So, ang una natin may isip ay, pwede to under ellipse. Okay, but then, chinek natin yung uh, standard form. So, nakuha natin yung standard form niya is the quantity of x minus 2 squared over 3 squared plus the quantity of y plus 1 squared over 2 squared equals 0. So, nakita natin naka-equate yan sa 0. So, hindi pala ito mag-fall under ellipse. Actually, ang sketch ng graph niyan ay point. Okay? Point with coordinates 2, negative 1. So, if we are to sketch this graph, ayan, 2, negative 1. So, ito yung itsura ng graph neto. Okay? So, it's just a single point uh, with coordinates 2, negative 1. So, although, pareho sila ng pattern, okay, dun sa pinresent natin kanina sa ellipse, again, um, ang naging resulting sketch ng graph natin ay a single point. Kaya mahalaga pa rin, class, na i-double check natin yung standard form. Okay? Kasi nga, meron tayong degenerate cases na possible din na maging result. Okay? Next, number 2. So, we have here 4x squared plus 9y squared minus 16x plus 18y plus 61 equals 0. So, ganun din. Ano? Present yung term na merong x squared tsaka y squared. And then, pareho sila ng sign, yung numerical coefficient nila, and magkaiba sila ng value. So, may isip natin at first ay, possible din yung mag-fall under ellipse. But, nung kinuha natin yung standard form, ito yung lumabas. So, we have the quantity of x minus 2 squared over 3 squared plus the quantity of y plus 1 squared over 2 squared equals negative 1. So, papansin natin, negative yung right-hand side. This will actually give us an empty set. Kasi nga, negative yung right-hand side. Do sa ating standard form. Okay? So, again, kailangan natin i-double check pa rin yung standard form. Kasi, although pareho sila ng pattern, possible na degenerate conic yung maging resulta. Okay? Third example, uh, we have here 4x squared minus 9y squared minus 16x minus 18y plus 7 equals 0. So, dito naman, class, pag inobserve natin yung form, present yung terms na merong x squared tsaka y squared, and then, at the same time, magkaiba yung sign ng coefficients. Yung isa kasi 4, ito ay negative 9, so magkaiba ng sign. So, ang una natin may isip ay, possible to na mag-fall under hyperbola. But then, nung chinect natin yung standard form, ito yung naging result. So, we have the quantity of x minus 2 squared over 3 squared, Minus the quantity of y plus 1 squared over 2 squared equals 0. So, 0 yung right-hand side. Okay? Ngayon, kapag in-sketch natin yung graph, actually, makakukuha tayo ng uh, two intersecting lines. Ano? So, y plus 1 is equal to positive and negative 2 over 3 times the quantity of x minus 2. So, ganito yung itsura class. Okay? Nung ating sketch ng graph. So, although at first, kapag in-examine natin yung uh, general form, Parang sa unang tingin, akala natin hyperbola yung magiging result. But then again, nung verify natin using the standard form, nakita natin na ang sketch ng graph pala nito ay two intersecting lines. So with that, napakahalaga class na i-check or i-verify muna natin yung standard form ng ating given na equations uh, written in the general form. Okay? Kasi nga, um, although... Uh, pareho yung pattern nila with that of the non-degenerate cases, possible na maging ang resulta din ay isang degenerate conic. So, we have to verify. Ano, class? So, with that, here's a note on identifying a conic section by its general equation. So, it is only after transforming a given general equation to a standard form that we can identify its graph either as one of the degenerate conic sections, so that is a point, two intersecting lines, or the empty set, or as one of the non-degenerate conic sections. So we have a uh, circle, parabola, ellipse, or hyperbola. So kailangan matransform muna natin yung given general equation to its standard form para ma-identify natin, class, ano, kung ano yung magiging result ng sketch ng graph. Kung point ba to intersecting lines or empty set, so ayan yung under degenerate conic sections, or kung under ba ng non-degenerate conic sections, so under ba ng circle, parabola, ellipse, or hyperbola yung given natin na uh, equation in its general form.
Okay, so it the double check natin using its standard form. So uh, here are more examples. Ano? So the graphs of the following equations are in non-degenerate conic sections. Identify the conic section. So dito, given na dun sa ating instruction na yung graph ng mga equations na babanggitin ay under non-degenerate conic sections. So pagpipilian lang natin, since non-degenerate conic sections, ang um, indicated dito, so we have a circle, parabola, ellipse, or hyperbola. So una, uh, so we have 5x squared minus 3y squared plus 10x minus 12y equals 22. So una, present yung terms na merong x squared saka y squared. Pangalawa, magkaiba yung sign nung a and b. Okay? Or yung coefficients nung dalawa. So yung a natin dito is 5, yung b natin is negative 3. So in that case, ito ay magpo-fall dito sa hyperbola. Okay? Next example, we have 2y squared minus 5x minus 12y equals 17. So, dito, obvious na isa lang yung present between x squared at y squared. So, ang present lang natin dito is yung term na merong y squared. So, we have 2y squared. Hence, ito ay parabola. Okay? Which is opening either uh, to the right or to the left. So, ito ay parabola. Okay? Next, we have 3x squared plus 3y squared plus 42x minus 12y equals negative 154. So, present yung terms na merong x squared at y squared at pareho ang coefficients ng dalawa. So, parehong 3. With that, ito ay circle. Okay? Number 4. We have 3x squared plus 6x plus 4y equals 18. Uh, ganun ulit. Ang present lang dito ay term na merong x squared. So, isa lang yung present. Hence, ayan ay parabola. Since ang present lang class is yung term na merong x squared, so sure tayo na yan ay parabola opening either upward or downward. So, para ma-verify, pwede natin kunin yung standard form. Okay? And then next, we have 7x squared plus 3y squared minus 14x plus 12y equals negative 14. So, again, present yung terms na merong x squared at y squared. And then, pareho ng sign yung coefficients ng terms na merong x squared and y squared, but magkaiba. Ano kasi? Ito 7, ito 3. Hence, meron tayo ditong ellipse. Okay? Next, we have a negative 4x squared plus 3y squared plus 24x minus 12y equals 36. So, ganun ulit present yung terms na merong x squared at y squared but magkaiba sila ng sign kasi ito negative 4 ito ay positive 3 okay hence meron tayo ditong hyperbola okay so class sana ay clear yung mga diniskas natin dito sa ating video tutorial so with that here's the list of references that we used in creating this video tutorial uh, thank you all for watching so bye class!